Lekker is vrijdag. Ach, jy is my in azet. We made it to the end of the week. Yeah, it's Friday, baby. I am over the moon excited beyond joy. I am, I'm like, ek voel so goed dat vrijdag is that I am just excited. So, uh, hi, welcome. Look in here, we, did, we missed the pre, pre-live pre today. Achtige gebiekie sachte sit hier so. Because uh, I, I was taking a nap. Okay, <laughs> ek was bezig om bekie te doen dus. Um, and I, I thought, okay, I'll wake up in time. Ach, jy is my spiel, keep with nanny so back in me. I'm using a mirror to bounce off the image, but ek gebruik ook naar die achter camera. So that you can see for me a bit, bit better. Uh, first time here, welcome to Lekker Live with Etienne. I'm Etienne, of course. Uh, daily dose of 30 minutes of fantastic premium conversation and connection right here on your favorite platform. Chicken, freaking, freaking. So um, I'm sure you're probably wondering. Yesterday was a pretty, pretty intense in-depth and really important conversation and you're wondering oh Etienne I missed yesterday's what am I supposed to do oh I couldn't even be part of the conversation because I didn't like click on the link and stuff to join the community uh I've got some great news for you if you click on the link in my bio you go down to the thingy that says YouTube you can catch up all of the lives that you've missed this week uh exactly including the one from yesterday and uh, tonight, to this one will also be loaded up. So that is going to be fabulous. I don't want you to miss out on anything. Because I know lunchtime can be a little bit tricky, especially when you only have a little bit of it. So I'm going to try to make sure that I give you as much value as I possibly can in this 30 minutes. Uh, so today, you you know, the thing that brought on today's topic, or why it is so close to my heart, is because it's it's something that I feel we are bombarded with all the time, every single day, uh, if you are looking for an alternative option of trying to make some money, or if you are, uh, if you look at the stats of South Africa, like the, the the complete ultimate definition, including everybody, there's like a 40 something, 46% of the people in our country are unemployed. Across the globe, more and more people are looking for a new opportunity, looking for an opportunity, And are sometimes exploring things that they're not familiar with. And a lot of the gurus, a lot of the advice that people get is like, yo, 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 start your own business. You know, you should like just totally just take the leap of faith and and like begin your own enterprise. You know, there's no real level of satisfaction that just comes out of, uh, you know, if you if you if you work for someone else, then then it really comes. And, And I mean, I get it. Yeah, sure. If you cannot find an opportunity, create one. That's something that we are accustomed to as earthlings because we adapt. We are adaptable to everything. Just check out how many of us are spread across this ridiculously diverse planet. And the thing about this adapting is that sometimes you don't know because you are basing your choice of adaptation by the information you've got, the situation you're in, and basically it's just what you know. And a lot of us are trusting of information we get from this beautiful black mirror because the internet is pure truth. If you are not familiar with it, ha! Haven't you ever experienced it? That even if you had to tell somebody, hey, by the way, did you know that a dragonfly can not only fly forwards, backwards, up, down, sideways, hover, but they can even fly up to 70 kilometers an hour. And somebody will look at you and be like, what's that? Please, your no help dragon. Listen, but I, I can tell you now, there's no way that a dragonfly can this. Let me just quickly. Oh, your no up to 70 kilometers an hour. Everybody goes to confirmation for the internet because they believe that anything is published on a public space. If it's available online, it has to be true. And that's the reason why I brought about this topic today. I want to talk about the one thing that has been freaking spreading like wildfire since 
the inception of the pandemic. And that is that people are looking are, are, are not able to find an option for themselves to employ are making the option available for themselves. But is this a legitimate lifeboat? Like, is it really something that you should be considering doing um, with what's going on as an option to try to give you some financial freedom and to help you build on every effort you can put in so that your children and your descendants as well? Or is starting a business just a fad and it's a way for you that you don't have money to part little and what low level of savings you already have to buy courses, to learn how to um, do this and do that. And for people to give you all these like, oh, don't worry, we'll take care of all of the problems of registering your business for you. Just let us do it for you. So I would love to hear from you uh, in the comments what your thoughts are on that starting a business or entrepreneurship or uh, going on it at it on your own is truly something that is valuable and that's really going to help people get out of this hole, gain some financial freedom, regain the opportunity to really take back the freedom to choose. Or is it just something that people are doing and jumping on to say that they have because it is the fun and cool thing to do? Now, where do I sit on this? While you're busy deciding and while you're sharing your kutas in the comments. And remember, because I'm wearing the uh, using the back of the screen. Uh, ooh, but uh, you don't let me mute here. So I've got my, 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 my mobile WhatsApp, my desktop WhatsApp, which is fantastic. It's on there, but I need to quiet it down. Um, so if you, if you are... What, sending a comment, just put it in the thing, at least later, but it's important that you do that. And also to remember that in this bio link, other than the fact that you can catch up on the lives that you've missed, there's also a specific link that connects you to our Telegram community where we continue on our conversations offline from the live conversations and we share, collaborate, motivate each other. It's just like a bunch of, it's really just a bunch of light, loving creatures that are out here to try to make a positive change in the world. So go and join this. So let me just tell you where I stand on this whole, uh, is starting a business jumping on a bandwagon or is it really just you out there trying to make an opportunity for yourself to navigate to financial freedom? So I myself am an entrepreneur and, and, and here's my definition of an entrepreneur. Anybody that has the foresight to identify a problem or a gap and that has the audacity, I will use that word, the audacity and the guts, the skills, the ability, as well as a already formed idea of what a solution could be for that problem and then acts on it. So that actually goes through the steps to try to put together that solution so that it would work to solve that problem or fill that gap. And in exchange for the solution, either to their immediate community, local, online, or anywhere else, they would exchange that solution to that problem as a service. For example, I, I, I'm working with a freaking incredible company that is specifically, this is what that uh, at home remote opportunities for. Their, their mission isn't to be like, hi, we're trying to get people to actually get some financial freedom so that they can have an actual better life for themselves so they're earning money by working for us. Their mission is to change South Africa by impacting South Africans through collecting South Africans who strive to invent, uh, reimagine, then I'm going to share with you, but like this, this, specifically around this movement of trying to help everybody get to a place of self-sufficiency by also helping the community. And they are like, I, I, the way I'm helping them is they are phenomenal in what they're trying to do, but they're trying to get to so many people that it's really difficult to actually filter out all the noise and actually make sure that each of the steps are worthwhile. Now, I'm a solutions engineer, which literally means that I, I come up with creative solutions, uh, both on the online and digital space, um, using advertising communications and marketing, as well as some fundamental principles in sales to help those who are looking to achieve whatever, whether it's customers, or whether they're trying to find leads, or whether they actually get that whole solution so that it works a lot better 
that's what I function at. That's what I do. I come up with the creative solution to do that. And for me as an entrepreneur working with them, some of the challenges I found is that, sure, if you are in the freelance space, for example, you are a content creator and you make video, text, or image, you're competing with a bunch of other people who are also good at video, text, and speech. And the thing is, if you aren't able to provide not only the best quality and standard for in that class, but you're also able to deliver a human-centered customer service that makes that person not only feel like they got something from you, but they joined a, a relationship that's designed specifically to benefit everybody, then, of course, you're going to see that it's, it's tough out there to try to make yourself get hurt amongst all the others. Now, as an entrepreneur who's a, sol a solo, uh, um, a solo entrepreneur, solo entrepreneur uh, that provides a service that bridges these business gaps, that helps your business formulate digital content strategies, help them understand what the scope of their, their, their uh, frontline customer service um, agents, family is, how to train, how to develop it, how to actually get them to give you results and how can we benefit for everybody. I'm not the only person that does that. There's lots of people out there that do that. So I've got to compete with them. And other than providing a quality service, there's things that I actually attach to it. So being an entrepreneur is not just finding a solution and then thinking about uh, or find, identify a problem and finding a solution in order to try and solve it. But it's also driven by personal goals, objectives, and missions. Like, what is it that you're trying to achieve? Personally, I want to try and eradicate poverty in, within my community and lift the tide so all the boats can ride, uh, rise. I want to expose and highlight the talents and gifts and abilities that so many people have that are afraid that they can't enter the market or they can't enter into the spaces because they don't know, they haven't got a degree, they don't have uh, a, a proper agency that's busy providing them with their, their strategies, they don't know, they've never consulted with anybody, they can't afford a website, all that stuff. That's, that's like, that's, to me, that's noise. My purpose, my objective is to meet you, find out what your dream is, find out what the passion is that gets you up in the morning. And if that is something that is aligned with some of my own core values, loyalty, quality of work, efficiency, uh, uh, not equality, it's the one where everybody's um, equity, equity, equity. Uh, and, uh, and, and also just to make sure that at least you are <laughs> the best at what you're doing and learning as much as you can. So I've got to make sure that I hit every avenue, find out where every single person is so that I can stand out from the others, from the other entrepreneurs. Now, a lot of people will say, yeah, okay, well, you need to have money to make money. Sure, you do need to have money to make money. But I believe that if you are, are driven, passionate, committed, and you have a genuine, a genuine objective of solving problems for other people, not to try to make money, you're on a much better path. But a lot of people jump on it because they're like, yo, I, I saw these guys are drop shipping and they're making like 150,000 Rand a month, forgetting fundamentals like the difference between revenue and profit, forgetting what running costs are, what ad spend is, how much time gets put into the actual research for the products. And there's so many more details that go into it. So people just jump on it because they think, oh, I'm seeing so many others doing this drop shipping thing. I'm seeing so many others starting a, a business from home. I don't know how many occasions there have been when you've been at a function or you've been at a bri or you've been at a, a get together or even at some of these seminars, these online events, and you'll just hear, like within a few minutes after connecting with somebody that you share common interests with, it is practically impossible to walk away from a conversation without somebody either initiating the idea that, hey, you know, this is a business that we could do, or talking about the potential of starting a small business or if, which brings me to the fad element. How much of your jumping into the entrepreneurship, own business, startup bandwagon is committed or is actually driven by you want to do this, not because you're seeing other people do this? And it's a really important question to ask yourself. Now, I am all for multiple streams of income. I'm all for multi uh, diversifying your portfolio. I'm all for making use of any opportunity that you can see and leverage off of. If you've got the opportunity to do for it and you are able to do it, go for it. But it comes to a very 
important principle that I feel isn't really expressed so much when you listen to these like, yeah, do you want to learn how to affiliate marketing? Oh, do you want to learn how to run your own business from home? I'll show you how to make six figures. I will show you how to... We are so driven to the result, and I'm one of those kind of people. I'm a results-driven person. I'm the kind of guy that wants to see how it ends up first, and then I'll figure out how to get there. So I want to know, okay, cool, you say you can make a, a six figures in a month in 30 days? Brilliant. Show me the results. And, and one thing that a lot of these results that you get shown and the things that you are really there just to entice you to jump onto the bandwagon because they're not taking into consideration risk, managing risk understanding what you can possibly lose. A 90% chance of success is good. It's still a 90% chance of success. But being ignorant of the 10% possibility of failure or of things that could cause failure is not entrepreneurial. It is not visionary. It is not driven to somebody that is looking at a sustainable option to really make an impact in their own life and the community at large because you're not really tied into the grassroots of what's happening. Now, okay, I win myself or something. Sometimes I'm like, yes, I get in you're busy spitting those, 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 those like buzzwords. But in essence, what I'm saying is starting a small business, jumping onto an online opportunity, finding and creating an opportunity for yourself, whatever it might be, whether it's like the opportunity with this amazing company that I'm working with that's looking for people to create leads quality leads where all you literally do is because of your interest because of your niche because of your expertise you already are familiar with specific markets so you are already a accountant so you know what's happening in the accounting space you know who's hot who isn't you can literally find some places that have a gap or a need that is solved by the solution or the offer that's provided by this by strive and you can Pass on a lead, create a opportunity for them to have a sale. And once that sale is done, you make money from that every month for as long as that person is a customer. Or you can start making candles from your house, start making beautiful jewelry, start making, what is that other thing that I've seen a lot of people make these little hampers and things just to right, make your life a little easier. Take care of the problems that you've seen as a dad or a mom in your house. You know, oh, my kid's never sleeping. I found this thing that really helps us this. You can sell products online. There are so many options. But if your objective is only to make money to cover whatever your immediate need is and you're not taking into consideration the risk of what could be involved, you are being blinded by a basic need and you are not clearly understanding what's happening. You're going to fall into the fad uh, uh, jumping on the bandwagon category. We're going to move from one thing to the other and it's not going to work. You're going to say, oh, drop shipping doesn't work. Oh, affiliate marketing doesn't work. Oh, referral marketing doesn't work. Oh, online freelance working doesn't work. Um, having an online drop service business doesn't work. Me providing my service as a drafter or as a, what's that one thing I freaking see so many people do as a consultant. You might have been working as in an industry, whatever department for so long in COVID and they got kicked out because the company Company couldn't continue to pay you because there's no more revenue because of COVID and 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 so you got retrenched and got told to let go but you still have that skill and you could teach that skill to someone else you could pass that on through a consultation and that doesn't mean setting up a whole thing needing cameras and equipment and all these other things the risks that you think you have to take it takes the risk of being accountable for what you say when you're providing information to people but you could use that as an avenue. And if you start looking at it as a not just a rands and cents or dollars issue, then you are jumping on as starting a business or being joining in the entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial movement because you are trying to make a difference. Then you'll have a chance to experience the most roller coaster ride of success and failure, of learning and community, of experimentation and discovery that you have never been exposed to before. The shortest learning curve, because it means that in an instant, if you can't afford to do something, you better learn how to do it really quickly. Otherwise, your, your service is going to fail and your people are not going to eat. Okay, my, my, but that's just my, my, my opinion. Like I said, I was just talking about what I feel has been a trend that's been visible over the last while is a lot of people are thinking the only way out is to get started with the business. You don't have to start your own business. You don't have to register a business. You don't have to buy a website. You don't have to, there are ways for you to enter the individual self um, uh, sufficient income space 
There's a way for you to build or start that journey to financial freedom by creating an opportunity for yourself, by just identifying some of the things that you are good at, some of the areas that you're strong at, and how they can solve a problem or uh, close a gap for an issue that other people are experiencing. And that's something that I don't know if you, if you want to hear more about, if you want to talk about that a little bit more, let me know in the comments. Tell me some of the things that you are on. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business on your own, let me know what business you are in and if you are still doing it just for the money or if you're doing it because it still serves your purpose. Uh, I'm going to try and read some of the comments in this last little bit so you won't see me, but I'm still here, okay? Because I almost said, I'm using the background. I'm hoping it's looking liquor now. It looks better. Does it look beautiful? I think you can almost see my almost Amos band. My Amos band is also here. But I'm going to quickly read some comments there. Let me know what you, your thoughts are. Okay, let's have a look. Here we go. Naz, how's it Naz? Good afternoon. We are within. We are together. We are connected. It is awesome to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me. Yes, yesterday was powerful. And again, if you missed yesterday's broadcast, you can catch the replays live on my YouTube channel. So you can just go over to my YouTube or click on the link in my bio, tap the YouTube, and then you'll be able to catch the replay where you can still comment, comment, or comment. Yeah, they can comment. They can interact and there. You can hear what the men said. And you can also hear what I did. must spit for you, Owen, sir, and for a fro and sir, so. Um, Aisha, hi Aisha. Oh, you are phenomenal. I, you know, this is something that was also an opportunity that I've discovered is a lot of people, and I did this because I was looking for a new out. Um, so I did the online teaching English course, and there is a lot more to teaching online than just speaking English. And if you really want to understand what dedication is, Aisha, you, A Aisha, H-A-H-Q-1. That's Get in touch with her. Let her talk to you about what the transition of teaching at home looks like. Maybe if you've been looking at exploring that possibility, click on the link in the bio, connect in our community, in our telegram, and you will get first-hand input of what it's like to try and sell your service as a teacher online. Hello, everybody. Nadia, it's good to have you here. Ah, oh, Teddy, good to have you. Greetings, brethren. Nice to have you around. Nice to have you. Uh, that is so great to see that. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the week. It's Friday. I can't even believe it. But this thing called network marketing, it's just a scam and it's as good as a pyramid scheme. Rasta silence. Yes, like I'm so glad that you mentioned that. Okay, you know what I feel? I, I used to think like you. I used to think that network marketing is a scam. And the reason why I thought it was a scam is because I was stuck in the research phase. I spent hours reading blogs, searching on different search sites, going on to the different videos, looking here on YouTube to find a video, a tutorial, anything free. Any re I did so much research, but I got into um, analysis paralysis where I spent so much time debunking and just taking up information that I didn't choose a strategy. I didn't choose a pathway. I didn't outline what the environment would look like for me. I did not consider a mentor as an entrepreneur or as a small business. If you, can you see me? Listen, as an entrepreneur, as a small business, one of the most important things for you to do is find a mentor. If you pay for one, amazing. You'll get a lot of value and bang for your buck and it's worth it if you can get somebody that's reputable and that's really genuine. If you're looking for free ones, there are a ton of people who honestly really want to teach you and really want to show you how to make money for something like referral marketing or affiliate marketing or something. You just really need to take the risk of spending your most important resource, your time and digging to find the one that works for you. So I just want to tell you that it isn't a scam. It can work. The reason why people are, are saying it's a scam is because of that result stuff I was talking about earlier. People saying, yeah, I made 50,000 Rand. Oh, I made $8,000. Oh, didn't you check? I made $1,000 a day. I make $600 an hour. You are so caught up on the results of other people that you are forgetting what they had to put in in order to get that result. How much time it took to get into that result. If you are prepared to dedicate yourself six months, anything that you are taking on six 
months minimum minimum and the only reason why i say that is because you're a creature of habit and for the last however many years i'm 36 years old and for the 36 years of my life i have dedicated my time to habits and things that i don't even think about anymore that are subconscious that if i want to change the way i think because i got used to the idea that if you lie down and eat you're going to get horns the, I've done that for 14, 15, 20 years. I've believed that. And to think that I'm just going to change after watching one video that debunks lying down and eating food doesn't give you horns, that I'm going to be convinced that it's going to change my life, it is, it's ignorant. And it's not only ignorant, I feel like it is putting yourself in a position of, of failure. You're setting yourself up to fail. You have to be prepared to sweat and grind and sacrifice. And if you can sacrifice six months, I promise you that road to a thousand dollar days is easy. Uh, yeah, prachtig met jou, um, uh, uh, MS band. Oh, thank you, man. All right, brilliant. So that does it for our, our comments. Oh, that's lekker. I love that you're with my Vicky. Commentations here. Let me quickly come back here. <coughs> And just say, I, I, I want to really add one final thing. Um, when you're looking at an opportunity, when you're looking at something that is trying to solve a problem, because a lot of the times when you have these conversations, when you do this research, the, it's like when you went to university or when you went to school or if you ask somebody to teach you how to play a new game or to cook something. They've been doing it for so long, for so long. They can't even remember what it was like that very first time when they had to learn the skill or have to uh, uh, understand this new realm of information. And, and every, and this is something that you'll hear me say too, is like every single expert, every genius, every master, pastor, every master, <laughs> pastor, every master started out as a novice. And as a novice, it is, it is really important for you to find a tribe that is like-minded, that you can learn from. It is so important for you to dedicate time to actually saying, I'm going to do this. The same amount of time you dedicate to scrolling, the same amount of time you dedicate to doing things for yourself, the same amount of time you dedicate to, you I actually want to just watch this series, watch this movie. Ah, uh, you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm so tired. Yeah, I know you're tired, but you're still able to read or change up what you consume that's aligned with what you're trying to do by making a choice. So if you can start moving in that direction, it will make a huge difference in what you are able to achieve. I don't want you to set yourself up to fail. Don't compare your, your, yourself or set yourself a expectation based on the results of other people. Use that purely as a measuring stick. You know that if a lot of people are like, for example, I just want to come back to this affiliate marketing kind of thing. Like I, I, I'm, I'm still quite wet behind the ears, fresh when it comes to doing affiliate marketing. Um, but that's because I spent so much time in the analysis paralysis and really like researching and trying to learn as much as I can. But let me tell you what, what comes with the value. If you spend the six months learning and creating the mindset that you can to literally just Look at one portion of what it would be in order for you to make a successful affiliate or referral, referral marketing business. If that is lead qualification, then for the six month period, you break that, you break that up into six months. So it's like a month, a month, a month, a month, 30 day cycles, because in 30 days, 30 day things that you do consecutively for 30 days. So for one full 30 day cycle, you spend time what you read what you listen to what you comment on what you watch is everything dedicated to identifying leads and how to actually get and generate quality leads 30 days that's all you do second thing you do is then you go over and you identify what are the kinds of magnets or things that i can use to attract these leads to get really qualified leads to then pass them on to sales so what i will have to do is figure out what is the perfect strategy? Is a content marketing strat? Is that a good strategy where I just create content, whatever format it is, and I get people to then channel through that to my affiliate links? Or is it more of a direct approach where I go into the communities and I actually pinpoint and identify people and me message them, inbox them, comment with them or whatever. Whatever your strategy is, you find out what that is. You do that for the next 30 days. Define your strategy. 
And then in the next 30 days, what you do is you come up with a plan for whatever it is you're trying to achieve on how to do that. You do that for 30 days, refine that plan. Look at it from, a, from large all the way down to, down to the hour. So you say, at the end of the 30 days, this is what I want to achieve. How am I going to achieve that? What do I need to do every week for the 30 days to achieve that? What do I have to do that every day to achieve that? What do I have to do that uh, um, every hour? If you want to even go to that granular, you can really get that. And then the last three months, the last 90 days, you implement. That is the time when you literally just apply everything you've learned for your affiliate marketing, because uh, that's just the example I'm using. You use that next 90 days, forgetting about that, yo, but people made like 100,000, people made like 60K, somebody making like 800, don't forget all that. You are just refining the process and working it, working it, working it, working it, without trying to say, oh, I made so much and reveling in that victory, without saying, oh, I, I didn't make anything and it's not working, and then sinking into that low. You are just spending that 90 days refining it because I can guarantee you when that six months is over and you followed this pathway, you've not only set up a, I hate it when people use the word passive income, but you've not only set yourself up an automated income stream, but you have created a source of income that can be down, that knowledge can be passed down as generational wealth. I hope this has been helpful. I hope that this has given you a little bit of insight and that you've gotten some value. Before I let you go, I want to remind you that in the link in my bio is the way that you can connect with the rest of our community. You can connect with us offline to continue the conversation on our Telegram group where we interact, collaborate, and connect. It's fantastic. It's a beautiful bunch of people really focused around building each other. You can ask advice if you're a business, if you are a content creator, if you're a parent, if you are just somebody that's like looking to kick it. That's the place to go. If you're looking to catch some replays and some other content which will be coming up long form, you can click on the YouTube. There's two income opportunities that are available in my link in the bio. One which is a lead generation opportunity from the company that I keep mentioning, Strive, which is phenomenal and it is really a culture that you want to jump on and it is a journey that will take you to financial freedom, no question asked as well as an opportunity for those of you who are working that are already in an expertise, whether it's in IT, in project management, customer service, finance, any of those kind of areas, there are surveys available under the uh, make money with surveys option within my uh, 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 link that allows you to within, up, I think it's like $250 you can make for a 60 minute interview after completing some screeners. No brainer. Check out the opportunity, connect with the community. Let's have you have your say. And I hope that you have a beautiful weekend. I'll connect with you again on Monday, 1 p.m. right here on TikTok and on YouTube and on all the other things so that you can have your say and we can connect. I love you. Continue to shine your light. I appreciate love my entire source of support and my entire source of energy, each and every single one of you, and that includes you for all that you provide and everything that you do. Stay focused on what you are trying to achieve for your time here on earth because life is too beautiful not to love and laugh. I'll see you on Monday. Stay blessed, stay focused, and stay healthy. I don't want to say goodbye, but I got to. Bye. <laughs> see you in the Telegram group.